Now, today we are going to discuss about the inclusive growth. You see here, uh, in the last week you might have uh, come across one of the important news items, Ambani and Adani. Weekly income for them is 6,000 crore rupees. How it is possible? Why all people are not getting equal income in India? This is the issue of inclusive growth. Not only in India, it is the issue of all over the world. The fruits of economy is not distributing equal. Unequal distribution of fruits of economy is nothing but inclusive growth. It leads to it leads to inequality, isn't it? So here, employment opportunities are not creating properly, and poverty is increasing. These are the direct repercussions of this inclusive growth, isn't it? Now, coming to the essential services like health, education, these have to be provided to the poor. Providing equality of opportunity. Now, one more word is came into existence. Equity. Equity means make all people owners of that particular facility. Isn't it? So like that. So here, upholding, empowering people through education, skill development, etc. It also encompasses the growth process that is environment, friendly growth, aims for good governance and health and creation of gender sensitive society. Still, gender related issues are, lot many issues are happening in developing countries. Isn't it? So here, society is not matured properly as a result, all these type of issues are happening. So we need to make them aware of all these people, all the public education and empowerment, empowering of services, empowering the people. One of the organization for economic cooperation and development, OECD, is a world level organization. As for this, economic inclusive growth is that distribution fairly across society and creates opportunity for us. So distribute equally provide, create opportunities for all, not rich and poor, hasn't it? What are those in this field, of, in this inclusive growth, most important thing is field development. You will see, India is a country which have the demographic dividend. Demographic dividend means the average age of Indian is 28 years, whereas in Japan is 59 years. So more older people are there in the Japan. So most of the countries in the world are facing the problem of old aged population. But now ours is the youth, young population, in India. That's why we call it as a young India. Why? Because it's consisting of more people, maybe 60 percentage of people belong to working category. We can create miracles. create miracles, isn't it? So here, <coughs> that's why we need to get this use of these skills or uh, population, working age population, their health, education, vocational training. And skill development plays a key role in more here. India is facing the dual challenges in skill development. You see, as far as skill development is concerned, India is facing them. First, there is a paucity of highly trained workforce. There is no trained workforce in India, isn't it? And number two is non-unemployment uh, non or unemployment for the conventional trained youths. Conventional trained youths are getting not properly employable, isn't it? So, According to the survey 2017, over 30% of youth in India are not in education, employment, or training. In 2017, it by, now it might be more than 50%. Why? Because due to pandemic, 50% of youth are, are in need means not in education, employment, or training. Need is very, very essential from the youth point of view. They, might, they may be either in education, or in employment, or in training. But 
we should not make them uh, to join either in education or employment or pain nothing so our education you know is a, it is a very costly step for our rural rural people hasn't it so now people are realizing and even rural people are also going for preferring to go for english medium education so there are dual standards are available in indian context in indian context why because the people who are in english medium and getting more opportunities those who are in land with local medium they are not getting proper opportunities isn't it and from coming to the point of your skill also linked skills itself the vocational training technical training are not available for them isn't it next unicef 2019 reports that at least 47 percentage of indian youth are not back to have the education and skills necessary for employment in 2020 so this is a united nation international children emergency fund so it gives a recommended uh, report in 2019 what is percentage of population by 2030 youth especially are not on track to have education and skill necessary to enter in the job you see in the job market they, they are having the three ways uh, three types of skills are the unskilled semi skilled and high skilled isn't it skilled semi skilled and unskilled so in in this case skill is skill is very very important that's why government realized that recently skill india one concept is introduced with the help of mnc with the help of lot many ngos the government of india is trying to give the import the skill among the people are you listening yes sir it's no yes sir ah okay next so in this case we discuss about the financial inclusion already what is the meaning of financial inclusion already the detailed information detailed class i took what is the meaning of financial inclusion providing of basic banking facilities insurance facilities etc etc isn't it so all this we discuss with for among this number 1 financial inclusion here financial inclusion means the process of ensuring access to financial services to vulnerable groups to affordable at affordable cost now uh, the jandhan yojana account if you without any depositing any money we can open the jandhan yojana account in the banks isn't it and it is uh, this already we discussed in our uh, previous uh, uh, discussion isn't it and technological advancement the world is moving towards the era of industrial revolution 4.0 4.0 isn't it so capabilities of both decrease or increase the inequality depending on the way these are being used isn't it now you see capabilities of our capabilities are increasing due to social media interaction social media not only having the advantages but also disadvantages also there isn't it so that's why our skills are going to improve by either <coughs> technology and improvement so initiatives have been taken by the government digital india mission so that the digitally literate people can population can leverage technology for endless possibilities we are we need to leverage the technology take the help of the technology leveraging means take the help of the technology to improve our income isn't it so sir your voice is stuck sir
after Uh, okay, madam. Sorry, some net issue is there here. Can you hear me, Vikram? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so, for example, sir, manufacture. Manufacture also plays very important role in every manufacturing area. There is a lot of innovation, scientific approach, and technology is going on. In growing. So, in this key, in this area also. We need to use the tab the uh, uh, science and technology, procuring raw materials, land, linkage with the under market. GST was made possible only with the help of the sound technology. See, sound you see in the GST one system is there. What is that? E way bill. Previously, way bill used to be manual. Now here electronic way bill. So you can create your own way bill before pay, moving the goods without any pressure. Next. Education. So now, this is, is it not a technology with the help of the technology only without moving our homes? We are getting importing our education, hasn't it? So, after pandemic, this type of learning becomes very quite common, hasn't it? So, before pandemic, e learning was not available to everyone, but now everyone is using the e learning, hasn't it? So, now cloud technology, cloud route transformation, delivery of public health services. Extended care for the remote and health services. Now, the, the technology plays a very important role in delivering the health services. Also, governance. So, now everywhere this, uh, in Karnataka government, Sakala is there. Sakala means um, within 15 days, your application will be processed and your certificate, required certificate will be issued to your doorstep. It is called <coughs> Sakala. This Sakala is developed by the, with the help of the information technology only. So these are all the essence of this. Next. Economic growth. In this economic growth, major economies in the world, fastest growing, very because upcoming economy, fastest growing economy before pandemic, it registered near about two digit growth, 10 percentage growth, doesn't it? So um, due to pandemic, due to continuous uh, issues in, in internal and external, we are facing now the problem slow down, the both technical and structural. Technical issues are happening, structural issues are happening, hasn't it? So, but we are targeting $5 trillion economy by 2024-25. By 25, we need to reach $5 trillion economy. Presently, our, our economy is $3 trillion. GDP, our GDP is three trillion dollars. Now we need to we need to reach five trillion dollars. Next, social development. You see, among those social development, marginalized sectors in India, marginalized sectors are SC, ST, OBC, minor, women, and transgender. These are all called marginalized people, volatile people, isn't it? So, in, in this case, their opportunities are very limited. We need to create more opportunities to these people. Next, empowerment can be done by improving institutional and social structure, hospitals, especially primary care in rural areas, schools, universities, etc. So, now empowerment how to improve the, give the empowerment, improve, improve, improve the present educational system, present primary health centers, district mm -hmm. hospitals. University, primary health center, primary care school, secondary school, university, etc. will be developed for the empowerment. Next, investment in social structure, social uh, structure. You see here, social infra is very, very important. Social infra means like uh, road, library, park, etc. So this is society can use it. So 
schools, hospitals, all these are also comes into the invest in the social infrastructure. But we will also create healthy and capable governing generation of and future work. So here it will it will give it will uh, create good future generation. Now, what are the challenges in inclusive growth? What are the challenges? Number one, poverty. Regarding poverty, also we totally we discuss financial inclusion and poverty. Also, we totally include discuss in detail in a separate chapter. Previously, I shared my notes. You please refer that note, doesn't it? Now, you see here, to India listed 271 million people. From 2005 to 60, 2015, within 10 years, 271 million people are lifted from low below poverty line to above poverty line. As in case, poorest regions, groups, children, reducing poverty path. Indian demonstrates a cleanest and pro poor pattern in the sub national level. Still, um, up to March this month, we are providing free ration to all over India. Still, despite of massive gain, 373 million Indian continues to experience acute deprivation. Additionally, 8.8% of the population is in severe monumental poverty. 19.3% of the population are vulnerable in multidimensional poverty. So, yeah, still, we, that is the history 271 million, but still, despite of massive gain, 373 million people are in, still there facing 8.8% of the population. Facing the malnutrition poverty, 19.3% of the population are vulnerable to multidimensional poverty. If anything can happen to them. This vulnerable means they are quite very near to danger. Unemployment is So, periodic unemployment, seasonal unemployment, disguised unemployment, etc. etc. everything we discuss, isn't it? So, by 7.8 percentage in rural urban, 5.3 percentage in uh, rural, and total 6.1 percent. Doesn't nice. The quality and quantity of unemployment in India are low due to literacy, literacy due to over dependence on agriculture. So quality is low, quantity is low. In, <coughs> in agriculture, we are facing the <coughs> To distinguish feature uh, problems of unemployment, number one, seasonal unemployment. Farmer will get the employment only six months in a year. And this is unemployment. Four people are working instead of two people. At the place of two people, four people are working. Why? Why? Because there is no other alternative for them. So this is the four fully they are depending. So if the additional two people are re removed from the agriculture, there is no um, stop in production, reduction in production. So here, that's why. These are the quality and quantity aspects of the employment in rural areas. The quality of unemployment problem has more than 80% of problem workforce in the farm, informal sector without any social security. So social security means uh, this is one type of graduate payment, the retirement benefit payment, etc. 80 percentage of people who are working in for workforce in India are not having any social security. Social security means after work, after their able uh, day, uh, their, during their old age, uh, there is a pro protection, financial protection for them, like retirement benefits or pension, etc. Now, low job growth is due to follow. Number one, low investment. Number two, low capital formation in the industry. Number three, low agriculture growth. You, you see, in our in our agriculture, growth rate is sometimes minus, sometimes only one to two percent. Isn't it? Investment is very low in India. Capital capitalization of industry, low capitalization of industry means we are creating hundred percentage capacity, but we are using only fifty percentage capacity only. All industry this is also one of the issues. Nice. Agricultural backwardness. India, although it is uh, claiming agriculturally advanced, 44 percentage of people in India have agriculture related employment. But it is contributed to Indian GDP only 16.5 percent, which lead to widespread poverty. Isn't it? So here, 44 percentage of people are 
living under uh, uh, taking agriculture, but 16.5 percent. But the poverty also very more. What are those reasons? Per capita land availability. Previously, uh, it was 2.5 hectares. One hectare means 2.5 acres. Now it is 1.2 hectares. Why? Because families are dividing and subdividing after generations after generation. As a result, the land available land available to them is very nice. Slow reduction in the share of employment. Employment share is also goes on reducing. The low labor productivity. Labor productivity is very low. Productivity means the capacity of a worker to do the work is called capacity productivity doesn't it so the capacity of a worker is very low in India decline in agriculture due to the climate change land degradation and unavailability of water you believe or not all our lands are depending on rain only only rain available available in if rain is available in that particular year they will get the crop otherwise they don't get the crop there is no issue Issued water facilities are provided only in some areas. 33 area is issued water, like canal. Next, disparities in growth across the regions and crops. So, number of times I told for every 500 kilometers in India, in India, everything will change. In agriculture, also, crop, cropping pattern, farmers, their capacity, their system, geographical area, land. Land usage, fertility of land, uses of fertilizer, pesticide, everything will change. Isn't it? In Karnataka, also you see North Karnataka, they will cultivate Jawar, Bajra, Ragi, etc. Not Ragi. In South Karnataka, only we will cultivate Ragi. Isn't it? But in Central Karnataka, like Davadagiri and Shimoga, Arkanet cultivation is there. So, like that. In between the state itself, only a lot of heterogeneity is happening in agriculture. As in the disparities in growth across the regions and crops. Next, issues with the social development. You see, social development is one of the key concerns for the inclusive growth. But it is facing some problems such as regional, social, and gender disparity. Most important, regional disparity, social disparity, gender disparity. Regional disparities means you see, uh, from 2014 onwards, most of the development is happening in the North India, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and GST also destination based. Destination based means destination based means here if a person purchases a commodity from uh, Bangalore, Bangalore government or Karnataka government will not get the tax. Only the person who is uh, in Uttar Pradesh, only Uttar Pradesh government will get the tax. It's called destination based government taxation. So as a result, what is happening? Regional disparities are happening. So this is one of the important problem or important issue in India. Low level and low level, slow growth in public expenditure. Public expenditure is low and low level, particularly in health and education. No health and education expenditure is happening. Poor quality delivery system. Delivery system is poor quality, very, very poor quality. Social indicators are much lower for OBC, SC, ST, minority, Muslim. Minority means Muslim is minority. Next. Their, their, their social indicators means social indicators are like. Life expectancy, literacy level, poverty, etc. Et All these are called social indicators. Next, malnutrition among the children. India ranks 102nd rank in global hunger index. 102nd rank in global hunger index. People are still getting not nutritional for. Next, regional disparities. It also one of the important uh, concern for India. Caste system, gap between rich and poor, contributes to regional disparity. Yes, a system where some specific group hold more privileges over others. You see, uh, the more people are from OBC, population is from OBC and uh, SCs and SCs. But unfortunately, they are not ruling the people. They are not getting the opportunity to rule them. 
but only some people who are having the majil power and money power are playing major role in the politics and they are only enjoying the uh, public life like MLAs, MPs, etc. What are those? Regional despite is coming to the point of view of uh, education. Education Kerala tops. Even uh, Ernakulam district is about 90 100 percentage of the overall literacy in Kerala 93.1 percent is very higher. On the other hand, literacy rate of Bihar is only 63.8. Now it is improved. In, in terms of our per capita income, Goa 4 lakh 67,998 rupees in 2018. While per capita income of Bihar is just one tenth of that 43,800. You know what is the meaning of per capita? It is a very, very important indicator of development of that particular country, state, or region. Goa is uh, having 4.67 lakh, 4 lakh 67,998, approximately 4,68,000. But whereas in Bihar, 43,000, one tenth only, isn't it? So <laughs> these are the clear indicators of the Growth next measuring inclusive growth idea inclusive development index how to develop how to measure world economic forum developed compiled one inclusive development index IDI hasn't it India ranked 72 62 out of 74 emerging economies countries was among the least inclusive countries in the group of 20, G20 countries. Group 20 countries are there in the group 20 countries. India is carrying very poor inclusive growth, 62nd out of 74 emerging. Next. The idea is based on the idea that most people base their country's growth not on GDP but by their own standard level. A very, very important idea is, idea that most people are their country's Growth not on GDP. GDP is not important. GDP if it will increase will decrease. Why? Because GDP also increase also. Uh, the as I told you, the poorest of the poor not getting any income. So that's why the standard of living is very important. Not from the GDP point of view, it should not be measured. Next, inequality based on three parameters. What are these three matter parameters? It is growth and development, inclusion. Intergenerational uh, equity and sustainability. First of all, growth and development. Whether they are touching the growth and development. Number two, inclusion. Number three, <coughs> international equity and sustainability. India also did not make it to the top and most inclusive emerging and developing economies. Where is neighbor? Nepal, China, and Sri Lanka make the mark. Uh, our uh, third countries like uh, Nepal, China, Sri Lanka are doing well, but India, we are not reaching the, including in the top 10 countries of the world. India performed prefer the best in terms of inter intergenerational equity and sustainability, ranking 44. So, generation after generation, they are getting some benefits, equity and sustainability, they are sustaining. In that rank, we got 43. Next, one more index. Social progress index. This index is a social and environment indicator which includes the following basic human need, foundation of well being, opportunity, limitation of other. Isn't it? So, basic human need, foundation of well being, these three are very important. So, limitations are there. What are those limitations? Coming to the limitations point of view, GDP. Number one, GDP is the only market, uh, market capacity. Hasn't it? Next. They are, they are not including the economic income. Gini factor coefficient is only income inequalities are included, not other inequalities like social inequality, equality of opportunities, etc. Gini you know. means we need to include all those. Not only income, but we are concentrating only on income. Gross happiness index. Okay. Neutrality, education, etc. Happiness means we need to include everything. So you see, uh, Bhutan is a small country. In happiness index, it ranks one. But India is the biggest country. But we don't have that. We didn't get the rank in happiness index. Happiness index. 
HBA. Human Development Index also we discussed it. Unequal distribution of wealth is ignored. In HDA, unequal distribution of health is not, not covered, isn't it? So it covers only education, employment, and equal distribution, isn't it? Next, SPA, one more measurement also there, SPA. Outcome of the government measures are rather than the money spent. Government expenditure, how government is spending, but not money spending, isn't it? Government measures, it, but not money. This also takes account of efficiency by Money spent by the government has been more comprehensive. SPA is more comprehensive. Slavery index. You know what is the meaning of slavery? You know, slavery means uh, this uh, walk free foundation of Australia. Modern slavery means situation where one person has taken away another person's freedom to control their body so that they can be excellent. So, taking the control over the body of others, mind of others, is called slavery. Still, in modern days also, it is happening, slavery. So what is this slavery? Reasons means rights. They don't know that. They don't have the rights. Absence of rights, they don't have the rights. Lack of physical safety. Physical safety is not there. Access to necessities such as health, care, education, and food, pattern of migration. So due to lack of health, basic necessities, what is happening? Now they are creating going for migration. If migration happens, automatically this type of slavery will also happen. <laughs> Government is actually uh, uh, taking measures to reduce the slavery, more than slavery. Uh, in, the, in this case, uh, trafficking, slavery, forced labor, child poor prostitution, and child marriages, all these are the issues in the slavery. It is now gradually is increased. They eliminated by the government. Are you listening, please? Vishnu? Vikram? Yes, yes, sir. Charan? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, measures taken to India to achieve the English degree. Well, see, We'd like to join again, sir. There's uh, only one minute left for the meeting to end. Okay, I'll join, I'll join again. Yeah. But only last two concepts are there. After the two concepts, I will close it. But right, uh, sir. please join, join again. Uh, sir, do you want them to join this link or my regular link okay. I have posted? Uh, this only, this only. Man. This only? Okay, right, right. Join this link only, children.